I think I had Bryce Griggs guarding me. He was going to be able to uh, flush me, but nobody's really been able to do that. He hit a layup and flexed on Bryce, and that was for two points. The game could come down to the wire. Same way. Get off. I boxed the gloves in my trunk. We can handle that. It's the midway point of our OT season, and I've been doing my thing this year. When I came in, I guess they all thought I was just a TikTok star, somebody that was just here for media purposes, and didn't think I could really hoop. I started off as a bench player, uh, just trying to find my role, and just started getting better, and started being a key player for the Reapers. So first he had the Bronny game, had a lot of points there, got the win. Yeah man, I've been an underdog my whole life. Just had to fight through everything, fight through adversity, and not listen to what everybody else says. And we played Jared. That's Jared McCain, he's been everywhere. He's a certified hooper. Legendary. I went to New York. <laughs> the last two games of the semester, I had 20 point games. Eli, what? Look deep. Stop it. I'm gonna talk about Eli, bro. But he's a dog yeah. on the court. He was the last person to get picked. Second semester started off really well for me, just being a key player on our team. Eli Ellis. That's a big shot. It's a game. For three. I'd say this style was gonna be an internet guy that wasn't gonna be that good. Three. I just slowly proved that that's not the case. I can play on this level. Win on a foul. You gotta win on a bucket. So listen, first to score three. First score three, and if you make it to the finals, the final game is the five. You know, it's the night of the takeover. Anticipation is crazy right now, just ready to get out there and hoop. Yeah, so last time we we're here, you know, me and Isaac played in the takeover event. Make a name about these streets. Last year to take over, it was pretty good. You know, I was the youngest and smallest guy on the course. I didn't really do much, but it would definitely put us on the map. Bryce Griggs moved on to the second round. I had to play him. I'm just trying to keep my head straight and out on the turf. But the price of having fame, but I don't have to do Fallon, arguing, almost a fight. He had a really tough clutch shot, a little fadeaway. Over his shoulder is a really high level move. Saw so me go against their best player and almost beat him. And they're like, yo, y'all, you might as well come to OT. Yeah, so then after that moment, just started blowing up a lot of people in the overtime industry, started recognizing me. Really set up the opportunity of me coming to OT the next year. Definitely trying to get my revenge after last time. He barely beat me, so. Moravian Prep and our team, we're kind of at a midway point in the season. We start off kind of rough. Y'all got some voices in your head that are lying to you and you're believing it. You're mentally weak. You're not Eli. He's not you. That's okay. Since then, we've been playing really good. We got 25-something wins, only four losses, so we've been on a really good run. Now we're off to California for a Drew League game. Cali Where we at, Dale? Where we at? Our people from Medidas invited us up there. Oh. I was trying to take hey, the nah, birds. They, they didn't attack me. And then, nah, they would have shit in the air bro, while they flying bro. around. Man. Exactly. Oh, yeah, my teammates definitely goofballs. No days off. Oh, this hard in it. Look. Go. Lift up. Push up. Push, push, push. push. Ah. We got some time off just to chill with the team. Ah! Uh, you know, yelling.
and clap and having fun. So that was, that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah I'm in Cali. Oh hey, that's game, man. Definitely stepping into a leader role for this team, being the only returner from last year. I saw that. Ravian and Prep and our team, we've done so good this year, so you know it kind of shows like the progress we made. Now we're traveling all the way across the country, and you know people want to see us play. We're locked in, we're spreading the ball, we're scoring. For the rest of the season for Moravian, what we're trying to accomplish is definitely just win out, you know, not lose any more games, and then win Big Shots Nationals. We're gonna be going up against teams like Combine, Word of God, Winston Christian, a bunch of high-level teams. If we really want to make noise in the Prep Nationals Championship, really any team can beat you, so we gotta lock in. It's really cool being out here on the West Coast with my guys. You know, we just gotta carry it over to the second half of the season. Tonight at the takeover, super excited. This year it's really hyped up. And I'm super excited to see the competitors out here. I'm, I'm trying to see who wants it the most. Let's go, Eli! Let's go, Eli! Let's go, Eli! These two guys have history. Well, I just beat them last time. <laughs> no, he sure did. Yeah, I was going up against Bryce Griggs first, another rematch. I hope he just makes the best first round. And after the first round, he should make the championship. Round one, king of the court. Let's get it started, fellas. Listen, you're going to have to really contest that mid-range just, just like that. Mid-range fade. Oh, good defense by, uh, by Eli. Can't wait anymore. Last time he beat me, and you know now I'm OT, and I've played against him a few times, so now it's time for me to win. Hey. First shot, the ref handed me the ball. Uh, he took a step back, caught the ball, and shot it. Knocked down three. Now it's tough. No call there. Bryce. Hey. Bullying his way. Hey, yeah, Eli got so much stronger. Look at his defense he's playing. He definitely got better since last year, you know, really in all aspects of his game. Shooting, he got a lot stronger, got taller, so he's got a lot better. Okay. You can tell he got a little chip on his shoulder. Yeah, a lot bigger. Last year I was kind of small, but now I'm about six foot, six one, 185, so. Off, it off, it off, it off, it off. A little stocky. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he wanted him. Oh, here we go. Oh. You know, Bryce is still a really good player, and he's gotten better, so it's definitely a battle. Watch, you gonna shoot the three. Watch. Oh! For the game! Wow. Knocking out the former champion, Big Shot Bryce. What did I say? What did I say? I hit another three and go up 3 nothing and take him out. He got you last year. What was the difference tonight? I mean, I guess I wanted it more. You know, my dad always said, beat him to everything. First person out here, first person shooting. No matter what it is, I'm always the first one there, shooting, getting warmed up, uh, trying to win at everything. So Eli's going to move on to the next round right now. All my life I had to work for everything I wanted and everything I earned. The first semester I did that, the second semester I kind of just got to work to be that main player beside the Thompson Twins. Who else are you looking forward to beating tonight? I mean, anybody. Are you getting the crown? I think so. 
You got a bunch of players in here, Dre Gibbs, Jay Gore, Bryson Tiller, John Ned. Don't worry about Jay Gore, he can guard me. All these players are super talented out here, and there's some great matchups going on. All right, Eli, great job on the round two. Yes, man, we love the confidence. On that note, looks like TJ Clark is the first one up. TJ Clark for his Eli Ellis. I actually think this is my favorite matchup of the day so far. Eli Ellis. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. First takeover I was in, came in really unnoticed. First King of Court, it's kind of like a springboard to now. Eli just made it look easy. And walked straight into the interview, he knew exactly what <laughs> Going from playing in Moravian to now being one of the best players in the OTE League, I think he kind of shocked everybody. Oh my God, gonna win Eli the Ellis. Eli open again, you gotta contest those. The third match, I'm about to go against Jalen Williams. He's 6'9", 6'10". Let's see if the guard can take down the big. I have to have, to have a quick release. Eli for the game. Oh my God. Just beat Jalen Williams, 3-1. Eli Ellis, congratulations for moving on to the finals. Now match up against Dre Gibbs Longhorn in championship. Here's the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Eli Ellis versus Dre. Kind of came out of nowhere. He played him on Ver before. Transferred mid-year to OT. Oh! Super electric score, athletic. He, he's had a blow-up season. What do you think about playing Dre in the final series? I'm finna win, so this is what it is. Oh, you Eli! If you give him that much space, he's gonna knock down shots. They're going up to five. Eli, 2-0. -oh. Big body move. Oh my god. Oh. You know, he's come a long way in really every aspect of his game. Another shot. Oh, Last play of the game, went to the rim, had a little pivot, pivot, and shot a fadeaway right over the top of him. Oh, he goes straight to his crown. Duke Dennis, oh, he went straight to the... Game over. Did you expect to come in here and dominate like this? No, nah, I thought I was going to do good. I didn't know I was going to win 5-0. Shows a lot just how much better of a player I've gotten since last year. <laughs> Going from losing to Bryce Griggs to beating him and beating everybody else in the competition. Congratulations to Eli Ellis. And then just kind of prove that I'm not just a TikTok or social media influencer. So I can play on this level. Those who are at OT or just won the OT championship uh, with the twins and uh, my teammates. So. Go grab your crown, King of the Court champion. Right now, me and Ivy's seasons are going great. Eli in the corner, you can't man. give him that. And he stayed oh, 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 The steal, the dish, and the finish! <laughs> you keep going, I can't run in these shoes. Our record, we got 20-something wins, and we've only lost four times. Now we can go. Why are you so scared? We both start off a bit slow, but we're now becoming centerpieces of our squads. He's not at the house as much as he usually was. Every once in a while, we'll go get something to eat. Oh. Okay, hold on, don't eat yet, don't eat yet. So, from Moravian, I think- he's smacked. Come on, fuck. When I get back, I'm always messing with him, joking around, you know, doing the brother stuff. Mm. <laughs> Y'all are getting this, right? Um. I think it's going pretty good so far. Um. <laughs> what was the question? I got the question. It's definitely going. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> it's definitely going good. You know. <coughs> Yo, it's spicy. <laughs> Come on, bro. We got to get this done. Oh, it's definitely going good. You know, we've done a lot better than anybody thought we would, especially after Eli left. Eli's season's gone really good. You know, he's played terrible, but his team's winning, and you know, he's just all the stuff that I've taught him has really been showing. You know. <laughs> There's no way you just got that on my face, bro. I really should wipe it. Oh. Um, really, bro? So nobody likes you.
At this point, we're just prepping for Big Shots Nationals because that's like the one that we really want. Those are the biggest games of our year. If we win that, that'll really, that'll really stamp us. That's, that's the one that we really want. You know, I'm super excited to play S3 at Core 14. We're in Charlotte. You know, it's really close to our hometown. And you know, the environment's crazy. There's a bunch of people there, so it'll be a lot of fun. Believe in the system. Give me the three keys you think based on film. Rebound. 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 Stay in front of your man. His shots. Be his shots. The game plan for this game is to go put on a show. There's a lot of people here, like, there's a lot of, like, important people here to see you. So I'm not going to tell you. There's a lot of people here today, and there'll be a lot of people here tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want you to get worried about that. Yeah. Just do what you do. Like, you perform with people watching you, yeah. without people watching you, with a full house, with an empty house. It don't matter. Just perform. I don't know too many of the players, but they're a really good team. The game was way closer than it should have been. We started off real slow, real rusty. We're kind of letting them stick around. It was just a well-balanced team game. Oh. We just got a desperation now that we didn't have. All right, let's go, people. I played really well, I had 19 points. Give me one back, boy. Wow. We managed to pull through in front of our home crowd. Alright, so now I thought he will leave from the hotel. Ready out there, fellas. Say one, two, three, ready. For my sake. It's the day before we play Winston with Christian postgrad, and we have a senior night brunch. You gotta pick somebody. Who you gonna mess the most, and why? Probably Ari. He's safe. Who you gonna miss the most? You know, I miss Connor more than most. You know why? Because you know he's always got positive vibes. You know, something unique about Connor Moore. And they say when you got, they say Moravian was your favorite memory that comes up. Or the guy game. Yeah. Who you closer to? Ah, that's hard. I couldn't choose anybody, to be honest. I'm, I'm really, I'm close to Dylan, I'm close to Jordan. I'm close, to, yeah, I'm close to everybody. I couldn't pick, I couldn't pick just one. I won a lot of championships. They come and go. But it's relationships that last forever. I think it's kind of mixed emotions, just because, you know, it's their last high school game ever. But on the other hand, you know, they're going to start a whole new journey in college. So I think it's mixed emotions, however you want to look at it. See, bro, that's the thing about our team, like nothing was emotional except like the last game because everybody was so goofy. Like, we, we can never take anything serious. <laughs> First game back in the dungeon this season. We got all this, is this, this your night? Let it rip. Let's let's go. Go. Hey, 12 hot to, 12 hot to uh, Hey, we're not third. What's today? We're you know, our four seniors, Graham, Jordan, Dylan, and Tilly, you know, they're, there's our four starters, you know, really the biggest parts of our team, you know, just had to honor them. We're playing so sloppy this first half. A lot of turnovers, missed shots, and fouls. That's demoralizing because they actually played well. We played more than 20. So that's demoralizing. We got to, but we 
got to be better. Like, we can't even really just play this game. We got to get ready for the rest of the season. Like, we got to quit having, we can't have bad games, bad halves. I mean, like, come on now. I got to lock in. And then kind of jogging back, bro. Just play defense. Everything else will come to play. Win on three. What's the three? Win. You know, these seniors, they gave Moravian their all throughout the year. So we just had to recognize that. Good job, boy. Definitely get my head back in the game a little bit. Good pass. Good. Second half, you know, I get up for a nice rebound, take it out, and I hit a three. Get up, oh. Get one on, give me one. Yeah, yeah. Get in. Hey, I get it. I only have five points, but it's not about me. It's about our older players and our seniors. Connor Tilly hit 11 threes for 35 points. He's a shooter! He was lights out. We won by 43 points, and for these seniors, we had to break 100. It was just a good matchup. Yo, we got three three weeks left, bro. Let's not waste it. Let's not regret for the rest of the year. Let's turn up, guys. Hey, finish our three. One, two, three. Finish. Last game of the season, playing the cold hearts, trying to finish out strong. So right now, I'm just doing a little recovery, trying to get my mind right for this game. This is like, you got to get here an hour, two hours early. You got film, you got all this stuff, you got shooting. And by that time, you're already kind of locked in, so. So this will be a little bit of uh, review of how the playoffs will go. Cold Hearts win first round, we play them. Yeah, they got the best talent in the whole of the league. With Rob, Bryce Griggs, Samto, Nas Cunningham. Um, they really have everybody. Janelle Walker, uh, great players on the team. If we kill them here, we're going to have a better chance of killing them in the uh, playoffs. So we can't let up at all. It's a long season and all these guys are tired, but we gotta lock in as best we can. Coming out, it was a struggle to get much going. That's true. Eli misses the shot. Starting off this game, uh, shots weren't really falling. Starting off a little slow. No Tyler Smith they, on the they, they all barely missing right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's gonna take a few to go down. Oh, that's a dunk. That's it's a Ryan. They're good, but our City Reapers team is just built different. We're dominating right now, jump out to a 16-point lead. Thompson Twins are taking over that game. I think Asar had like 20 in the first half. What a windmill! Two-handed windmill is insane. Me as a competitor, I'll do whatever it takes to win. So if it takes me not shooting, it is what it is. That is a bucket, old yeah, school yeah. on the block. <laughs> old school. <laughs> you really lucky to get there because something goes down there. Come on. So the Twins were playing really, really good. Kind of had to take a step back. Coming out of the half, I knew how to get going a little bit. Hey, that's a great skill. Eli for three. Boom. So I come out and hit a three. But this last game, I don't have much to prove. I kind of already proved it the whole season. So keep doing what I'm doing and finish with a win. We win, it was a close one, but it definitely gets us a, a glimpse of what the playoffs are going to be like. A locker room post game, you know, a little down, didn't score that much, but you know we got the win, so I was excited about that. Hey, give us our three. One, two, three, Reapers. You know, we got a lot of talent on this team, but hopefully we're locked in for the playoffs. It's the first playoff game of the OC playoffs, and we play the Cold Hearts. Stakes are for this game. Whoever wins this goes to the finals. So it's really, if you lose, you go home. The vibe right now is really kill. You know, uh, Cold Hearts and us kind of have a little rivalry. It's definitely want revenge after the season finale when we beat them in the 2000s before that. Yeah. 
We're at Eli's first playoff game against the Cold Hearts. I come to support them every day. Every time they have a game, I'm sitting there front row. Super cool just seeing my older brother out there playing with a bunch of NBA players on the biggest stage. You got Rob, the Thompson Twins, Eli, of course. Crazy, the talent level of these guys. Eli went to a proof player, it was crazy. He started off not really knowing what his role was on the team. He just kept working and he really showed everybody that he can be one of the best players in the whole league. After this season, people think I'm legit now. I've proven it the whole second semester. We are ready for tip-off game one of the OTE semifinals from OTE Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. This place is loud and here we go. Damn, he says too small. Start of the first quarter and both teams are really just straight in buckets. And the honey tip. Caught the ball on a fast break, was dribbling down the court, looked at the left side of my eye and saw Trey there, so I just threw it up to him. The beautiful feed and the beautiful finish. Hey, come on! Hey, come on! If he drives, you just stay in here. He picked up his dribble, we fed out from there. Up right now, on the dead hey, ball, here we go. Trey Parker's going the other way. Ralph wants it back. That's Malik Bowman. And that's Fuley. And the finish, the spin. That was a tough bucket. It's a playoff, so it was high energy. Everybody was yelling, screaming, dunking. It was very high intensity. Three seconds left. Rob going the other way. The intensity and the environment is crazy. These guys, they really want to win. The regular season, it's intense, but when you get to the playoffs, it's a whole nother level. Oh, oh goodness! Hey, you can't win. Ryan, you're gonna find Eli's man. Drive him to the hole, or you're spraying it outside. Hey, let's go, man. Finish on three. One, two, three. I'm really kind of coming into my full form at the end of the season. Eli is just having an unbelievable year. I just learned a lot in the past year. Now I'm more comfortable in the playoffs. Rob Dillingham and the beautiful. Rob. And one! Yo! Rob Dillingham! Yo. Rob, we grew up together in Hickory, North Carolina, so I've known him my whole life. Rob, back to work. Yo! He was going off. We couldn't stay in front of him. He was knocking down shots, hitting floaters. One person is not a team. Come over here, bro. Yeah, he's somebody from the Cold Hearts that could really carry them to a win. And that will do it. Cold Hearts storm back. They are up one going into the second half, and Coach Leto was pissed. Why do you think I put this up? Because I knew that we're choosing being drunk on your f***ing emotions. If somebody want to get pissed off, get pissed off at why f we can't grab Rob Dillingham. Why can't we guard him one-on-one? -on -one? Our emotions allowed him to do that. Do and be who you are. Nothing more, nothing less. Reavers on three. One, two, three. Reavers. Boy, do we have a good game on our hands. That's Rob going to work. The floater connects. Going into the second half, Rob's still killing. You gotta cook him. And Nas Cunningham is not playing around. You gotta watch the game. I didn't watch it. You can't get the people in your face and talk shit. You know, it's getting pretty intense in here. Bryson Taylor, all rejected. John Jackson, rejected. Ted, if you ready to knock it down, Ted. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rob with the ball on oh, the string. Oh, John man. Walker, take a like the biggest the City Reapers have ever been down the whole season. The Cold Hearts go up nine and I gotta get back in the game and make something happen. I don't know if I'm coaching the Cold Hearts or the Reapers, because whatever I say, we're gonna do the opposite. I come back in with like nine minutes to go on the fourth and we go on a run. All right, we're down two baskets. Defense, run, big score. My role in the fourth is really just do all the little things, rebound, steals, play defense, while the Twins get all the buckets. There we go. Amen Thompson. And then we're guarding Rob, trap Rob. I get a steal. It starts going out of bounds. I throw it to Amen. He goes up and dunks it. Eli Ellis, the save. 
and the finish. And the City Reapers on a 10-0 run. I had eight or so points. I'm not really scoring as much, but I'm doing all the little things to get us back in the game. Kicking, a man hit me. Bryce, he said it's not over yet. Ja, and the finish. You know, now it's just prime time playoff basketball. Drives, finishes. Tyler Smith in the corner. Oh my goodness! Tyler Smith with a huge three. One point game. Relax, next play. Next play. Every possession matters. Minute left. Whoever takes this game has a real cushion moving on forward in the playoffs. Asar, Trey, hit me. Trey Parker. Close to the end of fourth and the Twins are starting to take over. Go time. A man to Asar. And they kind of just carried it to the end. Rob to Bryce, stripped, Thompson's going the other way, a man! A man and Rob exchanging some words, an intense, intense game one here at OTE Arena. We got the win, you know, we just realized that if we do what we're supposed to do, the Cold Hearts can't beat us. That will do it for game one. City Reapers 104, Cold Hearts 97. So now, next game, we win, Cold Hearts go home, and we'll move on to the finals. Great win, I'm telling you, it's gonna be worse on Friday. You know why? Because I have this feeling that it's gotta go three games. And the only people that can change that is the people in this room. It ain't the guy referees, it ain't the cold hearts, it ain't the fans, it's us. Lato, he was saying, we let the league go a little bit because we let the motions get the best of us. We got to show some more maturity on Friday. All right, let's go. But if we just stay strong and don't let that happen again, we'll win it all. Family on me, family on three, one, two, three, yeah. It's just really cool seeing Eli and them get close to the finals. It's the next day, we're on the way to Tennessee for one of my games. But before, we stopped to watch Abraham, my little brother's game first. Abe's out here trying to get buckets. Oh! Better play hard, eh? It's really important to support family because it just means a lot when somebody's there to watch you. What are you changing this username Abraham. to? Abraham. <laughs> Abraham is crazy. Abraham, nickname I came up with. He's him. His name's Abraham. Abraham. Kind of a bucket, you know, left hand shooter. <gasps> yeah, Abraham can shoot it. He shoots the ball every time, though. He doesn't pass. That man shot 15 times in a row, and the coach over there yelling at him. They must not know who we are, man. Ellis is. We don't pass. Abraham, get the greedy when you make a shot. It's not about the points. It's about the celebration. That's the main thing we taught him. Scoring is good, but the dances, the celebrations, that's really the most important thing for kids his age. Abe is him. We just arrived to Chattanooga for our last tournament before Big Shots Nationals. It's the Dr. Pepper Invitational. It's a really big tournament. There's gonna be a lot of good competition. This Moravian team is definitely top five we've had in the history of the program. We just play really well as a team. You know, we have fun. Everybody likes each other. Everybody's cool with each other. We just really have a different type of bond as a team. Hey, listen, they don't believe they can beat you. Don't give them any reason to believe that. So you're more prepared, you play harder, you shoot better. You do everything better. Don't give them any reason to believe. Hey, we're not three. One, two, three, win. Right. versus Hamilton Heights, you never really know when somebody's gonna go off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lay, 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 lay. There's just been different games where people step up. You know, some games, Tilly goes off. Hit it, Tilly! Yeah, yeah! Woo! Some games, Graham. Hit it, Graham! Yeah, yeah! Hey! Steve. Hit it, Steve! Oh yeah, side step guy. Woo! Best player in Moravian at the moment is definitely Jordan. Good, and one. Woo! Hey, that's how you can compete, Jordan. The first time we played them earlier in the season, they kind of kept it close, but this time it wasn't even a game. Yeah, yeah. And we were just hitting threes. On his head. Getting to the rim. Oh! You know, we just played a really good game overall. Oh! From start to finish. It was really just a blowout. Came out and dominated, showing why we're one of the best programs out there. Oh, 
OT playoffs are still going, but Isaac and them still have one more slate of games, so I decided to show up and support them. Ah, see Carm? Oh. Whenever I can, I'm always traveling with Moravia, and I love watching them play, just being around those guys. <laughs> Even though me and Eli are hooping at different places, we still like to have that family time with each other. In between games, we're training little kids, taking pictures, fun doing all that, just seeing all the kids that look up to you. Anytime we go to Tennessee, the love is crazy. You know, got a lot of supporters from there. I was on my phone like this. I was sitting, so they're above me. This one kid wanted me to sign something, and they couldn't come down. How many people were up there, y'all? So they would drop his phone case. So I dropped the phone case, signed him. As soon as I signed it, I had like five more kids just start throwing stuff at me from the top. It was insane. The kids were wild. Second game against McCalley. Oh, shit. Move it. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, that hurts. You know, that was the home team, so they brought a crowd out. That was one of their biggest games of the year. People want to come out and watch us play just because we play so much different than your typical high school or national team. You know, we shoot probably 50, 60 threes a game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good pass, boy. Play pass, not play one, two, three, play We just play really fast. And one rep. Go, go, go. We kind of started off slow. Pick it up. Hit it, hit it, see. Yes, sir. Damn, I mean, we can play pretty bad. All right, let's go. Let's go start ball. It was a close game going into the second quarter, but then we really just came out and put on a show for all the people. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey. Yep. Eli's out there supporting us, helping us coach on the bench. Hyping the guys up, and they're just doing their thing right now. Take over there, huh? Oh, and whoa! Lay that girl! Lay that girl! Stop that, boy! Isaac, you know, he's also doing really good without me on the team, scoring, being a leader. I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna throw it to the wing, whatever wing I throw it to, I'm playing. Good pass! That was! I think people are starting to recognize I can lead the team without Eli here. Ooh, Yeah, yeah! We won by like 35, 40. We're just a rolling force, and I think we can go into prep nationals and win it. Yeah, I think they are ready for the playoffs. They're going to have a good chance of winning it. It's the end of our season from Moravian. We're heading into Prep Nationals. Our record is like 28 and 4. You know, we've accomplished a lot. We beat a lot of a lot of really good teams. Went all over the country. So you know we just gotta finish it out. Me personally, I think I've grown a lot in the sense of filling a bigger role than I was in last year. Were you worried about trying to be the leader this year? Like with Eli leaving? Yeah, definitely. Just it really wasn't even like a worry. It was just like not really knowing what was how the year was gonna play out. Just me having to fulfill a bigger role than I did last year. A lot of people don't realize how much energy it takes to lead and play. It took a lot just knowing like, even if you're having a bad scoring day, you can't hit a shot. Just knowing you have to bring energy, you gotta be a leader to the team. You know, just feeling a bigger role than I was in last year, and being one of the best players, or just being more comfortable with the ball. What game was like, oh, I'm really that dude, so I could do this? At the beginning of the year, probably the Huntington Prep game, where I had 35. Moments that stand out for me this season were definitely the whole Outer Banks trip. We outside with it, we're the Outer Banks. Outer Banks. That was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, Bella Vista, the Bella Vista game. That was that was top tier. Uh, because Dylan hit a game winner, that was a really big win for us. Now we just gotta close out the season. I do think we can win the championship. We're gonna have to play the best basketball we've played all year. Going into Rock Hill for the national championship, I was super excited. Now we were about to play the best teams in the state and the country. It's definitely a big test. They just play really hard, you know, they play fast, they're super athletic, super scrappy, so it's gonna be a tough game for us. It's really important to win this just because if you lose, you're done for the rest of the season. Do not get dunked by house. We have to rebound. All guards have to rebound. Everybody on the court has to rebound. So just go do what you do. Do what you've done all year. Play like Shalev, bro. 
Like you make it special, stay together too. Yes, sir. All right, let's yes, get it. It really can't beat us, bro. Let's go. Ready, round three, round line six. One, two, three. Ready, Ready. four, five, six. Ready. Ball tips off and Dylan immediately gets a layup. But they respond quickly with the floater. Jordan, pass it! Hey, kick it! Hey, you got three people! I missed a couple layups that I should have made. I don't know how. getting intense in here, their body's flying, I'm ending up on the floor. I've always been one of the smallest players on the court, so you have to play hard. You know, diving for loose balls, taking charges, stuff like that. Those are just essential things you have to do as a small guard. That's one of my favorite things to do on the court, especially when you're not scoring. I can't get too down on myself. You know, I just gotta do the little things to get the win. My shots aren't really falling, but I'm doing other stuff to help the team. Another cross-court dime, Jordan hits the three. Jordan and Graham back to back threes from opposite sides. The seniors, they're doing their thing. They solid, they can't guard. We can guard them, they can't guard us. Remember that. We're going back and forth. We're scoring, they're scoring. You know, we just got to get a stop on defense. We close out the half with two threes. We're up 38-21. You know, we're feeling pretty good. We good, we good, we good. The competition level is obviously there. You know, they're a really good team. We were scoring really well, but we couldn't get a stop on defense. Hey, we're good. Hey, we're playing, hey, we're playing our ass off now. All right, now it's just stay together. They get the, again, make them take bad shots. We take good shots, blow their ass out. Let's go, let's finish this thing. 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 Let's go, let's I break a defender down, you know, get to the lane with a tough move, but then I miss a layup. I don't know how I missed it. I don't usually miss those, but, you know, I was kind of frustrated in my head. I wasn't really scoring that much. I don't really know why. To be honest, it was really just one of those games. And Jordan and Graham were definitely carrying. You know, they were the main ones scoring a hit shot. We're up 20 with eight minutes left. We just got to finish the game because this is one of those teams, you know, if they get going, they're really hard to stop. Dilly, come on! Dilly! Damn, Steve! We put our foot on the gas and we end up closing out the game. Tomorrow is going to be a way, way better team, so we gotta, we gotta come locked in. After the game, my dad was talking about how proud he was of us and our team. That's what it's about, man. We controlled the whole game. They made a little run, and we took that shot. But what really matters when it comes to this? Who's the smart player? Coaches don't score it all, do they? Two the smart players. But one of y'all gonna have to step up tomorrow. So you better get your mind right around that. It's gonna be a chess match, but hey, just trust, trust the process. We find that's all you gotta do. Let's play smart. Let's go out, don't haymakers. We'll trust out. It was a really good win, but now we gotta kind of lock in for tomorrow. Us versus Winston Christian. Both teams know each other really well. Both coaches know each other really well. So it's gonna be a crazy matchup. Ready, right, about three, five, nine, six. One, two, three. Ready, right, four, five, six. Yeah. People definitely respect me and Bryson, you know, Bryson being the top five player in the country. And then me, we're just proving myself the whole second semester, so. Yeah, I got a second all team at OT. And I got most improved player. <laughs> He's dumb. Me and Bryson are about to hop on the game and just talk about how yesterday's game went against the Cole Hearts. It's like my best friend at OT. All right, you ready to get this win? All right, bet. 
We're at semifinals right now. Since we were first in the league, we got a bye. So we're in the second round playing against Cold Hearts. We won our first game Tuesday. City Reapers 104, Cold Hearts 97. The game went good, you know. Everybody played really well, I feel like. Everybody had a double digits, like six, seven players had double digits. So it was a really solid game for everybody. Played hard, we fought, fought to the end, and you know, just looking forward to put it away tomorrow. Who knows what will happen, but we have a plan, and if you know, we execute it, it should be good. Good observation there. Me and Bryson are both the youngest players here at OT. Being the youngest player is a really good thing, and you can learn from people that are older than you, and then sometimes people look over you. If we win Friday, uh, we win the series, and we move on to the championship, the finals, and play the winner of Word of God and the Dreamers. We both accomplished our goals for the year. You know, we're both in the playoffs with our seasons on the line. Ellis on the spin. Second game, hopefully, I think it'll go pretty well. I feel like we're gonna pull out the win again and uh, you know move on to the finals. We got eliminated. I don't understand this. Thing. Fans, once again, welcome inside of OT Arena. It's time for game two of the semifinals with the number one seeded City Reapers taking on the number four seeded cohort. Walking the arena for game two, it was hype. A lot of people came out to watch it. You know, it's, it's a crazy environment. There's nothing like it. What I'm gonna do to help my team win, just keep doing the little things, uh, knocking out shots when I can, when I get the ball, and being the solid player that I am. Cold Hearts definitely have a lot of pressure on them. They lose this game, they go home. So it could get very interesting. We are in for a great game. Here we go. Tyler Smith. Immediately as the game starts, you can tell both teams came to play. Go corner, Bryce. And you know I'm doing my thing too, and I hit somebody with a no-look pass. Oh! What a pass from Eli Ellis. Santo, he can jump out the roof. Has a 40-inch vertical at 6'10". He's strong. Their whole team's kind of contributing right now. Janette Walker. And they jump out to an early lead. Hey, in the zone, real quick, in the zone, on any pass, pass, and cut through, this is bump the guy right there. Hey, hey, defensively, they're in the paint too much. They're in the paint too much. Right now, this is not our team. We're playing like, like them. Defensively. We're playing like them. Yeah, we're going to give them 50 goddamn points. Second quarter, I caught the ball in the corner. Shot fake, something went flying by, hit a little mid-range. He about kicked me in the face, though. That was crazy. Going like this. There we go, Trey. Look out below. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, came down hard. Misses the first two free throws, though. That was a close game, but we still were feeling confident going into that second half. Oh, man. And the Tyler Smith pull up to cap it off. 47 45 City Reapers. Bad news is we have not played anywhere near our capability on defense. Am I right? All right. The ball is living in the paint. So now, kick out, man, open shots, finishes, I, all the stuff that we talked about. And you attack them. You attack them. You attack them. Let's be who we are. Let's, Let's be go, who man. we are. Let's finish on three. Finish on three. One, two, three. A man with a finish of four. They're hanging close to the first half, but the second half is when we started to assert our dominance. Eli, that's his spot. Can't leave that man open. And then I'm knocked down a three with eight minutes to go in the uh, third quarter, so I'm really feeling it. You know, then I hit another three, and now I'm kind of catching on fire. Be smart on offense, take good shots. When in doubt, drive the ball and lift it, all right? 
We go up 12 and five minutes to play in the third, and we're just running with it. And now I'm just starting to contribute a lot more scoring-wise than the past few games. It was good. We go on an 11-1 run with four minutes to go in the fourth. We start running away with it. Take a deep breath. We got three and a half to go. Need all the energy we can muster right now, all right? Then I hit a dagger, shot a one-leg floater over two defenders. Eli with a floater. That's a dagger. In the number one seed. You can't really be surprised if they're making it to the championship. I'm just excited to see who they're going to be going up against. You now we get the win and we advance to the finals. We proved that the Code Hearts can't stand with us. You know, we beat them five times, they beat us zero. I play with the Thompson Twins and they kind of carry the load, but it shows that I can make an impact on this team. We're playing the Dreamers who are going to be a way tougher opponent than the Code Hearts. Now I just got to be the youngest to win a chip at OTE. Me and Isaac were just trying to stay loose, keep the competition going. So my dad came up to us and was like, y'all should play one-on-one. -on -one. But you know, my dad didn't want us to get hurt, so he made up this little game called Steph Curry. Hey, let's go Steph Curry real quick. We do it a lot from Moravian. You throw it, you gotta try to block it, and you know, it's first person to three. First one to three, earns the right shot fake. First one to six, then you get to add a dribble. First one to nine wins. All right, I'll shoot for it. If I make it, it's over. Oh. You know, me and Isaac won't be one all the time, and uh, it's usually the same outcome. It's usually me winning, so. One, eight, one. <laughs> Hold that. Oh yeah, I beat him all the time. So why does he see that you don't? Because it kind of looks bad on his part, just because he's the older brother, and you know, the younger brothers aren't supposed to win. That's true. This mic is annoying, bro. He keeps hitting me in my nuts. I won every spot. Every single spot. It's just not true. Yes, it is. That's just not true. Ooh. That's not count. Restart. Heck no. Come on, bro. Heck no. You threw it on top of my head. He did the same I thing. I can't shoot like that. I know, but you started it. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> Eli. Uh, we argue a little bit. Actually, a lot. Oh. Foul. No foul. Just clean. Small ball. Small ball. Break. I'm not shooting for that, bro. No, I'm not shooting for it. Nope. Small ball. I missed, Isaac hit one. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. And I had another one while his first game was over. Mm, ball game. Next spot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I was right there. Second game, thing went three in a row. You're not calling that? No, what? He might be the most petty person I've ever played basketball. Bro, come on now. And that's just what older brothers do. They they all cheat. And then we went other spot and I got a lot of buckets there and it was just it was just over after that. Yeah, step up, bro. That's three. That's two, that's two, that's two. That's two. We're just going one. You're gonna catch them hands, you keep talking crazy. That's okay. wild. Two free throws to see what. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Just in, I guess I'm just him. Like always. We're in the Big Shots Nationals. And we're playing with Salem Christian. They're number 22 in the country nationally, right? Their coach used to coach from Raven Prep, so you know it's kind of a hoop state rivalry. Play with a lot of freedom, man. Like the cool thing is, even if, if a shot's not falling, it's gonna fall. Like, we're gonna hit shots. And that's the big thing. See the big picture. They're going to make runs, we're going to make runs. We're just going to make more runs than they are. They got Lewis Walker, really big guard, can score at all three levels. Isaiah Washington, another really good scorer. You know, point guard Kobe George. And they got a bunch of really good big men. Size difference is crazy. You know, our tallest player is 6'6", 6 6'7", 6 6 and their point guard is 6'6". 6 6. We rebound and we play our game, and then we should win. Yesterday, I didn't score that much, so I kind of got to redeem myself. Two feet, now let's score. We're in the middle of the playoffs, so if we win this game, we end up going to the championship. That's really the game that we really want to win.
Isaiah Washington hits an and one, and they jump out to an early lead. And I hit a three, and that was a nine to five. Midway through the first, Kobe's coming down on a fast break. I take a charge, but they don't call it. He hits a tough lay, but rolls his ankle. Why we not going charge? It looks like he's coming out the game. This could be huge. They're using their size down low to start this game. 17-13, we're down. We gotta make something happen. Beat him, Dad, you can beat him. The game's going pretty well so far. They got a little bit of a lead. But you know, we keep climbing back, we keep hitting shots, and keep getting really good defensive stops. We're slowly climbing back into it. I take a charge, that might be the momentum change. We're up one, and we finally get the first lead of the game. This shot! And right now, it's just back and forth. Come on, Jordan, give me one, baby. Woo! Go! No, 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 that's good, that's good. The fight right now, it's a crazy close game. We're down two going into the half. They're really getting whatever they wanted in the paint, but on the other hand, we are hitting three. So if we just get more stops on defense and then just keep playing the way we're playing on offense, we should end up winning the game. Let's front Lewis. It's hard to fill over the top, so we got to get a lot of pressure on front. All right, but they got plenty of guys we can help off of. So backside just got to communicate. We got to double on the side. Let's go. Ready on three, one, two, three, Coming into the game, I knew it was going to be a close game no matter what. For us to beat them, we have to play one of the best games we've played all year. They're just such a talented team. Even if we get a lead, they're going to come back. So we just got to keep our lead and end up winning the game. We hit back-to-back -back threes. Now we're just starting to score. They just keep scoring at the rim, getting rebounds and ones and layups. Yo, Kendra! Oh. The rest weren't really calling stuff on our side. Time out! Hey, if we don't do this right, I'm gonna make a scene. I'm just telling you. It was bad. Hey. Right now, it's just really back and forth. The guys on our team are showing out, and guys on their team are showing out. Good. Damn. Yeah. I hit another three. Now I got 13. We're up 10 with under six to go. You know, the guys are going at it. It's getting super intense. Jordan's going at it with number zero. Both teams really want to win this. Relax, Jordan. Relax. Right now, the clock's kind of winding down. We got a little bit of a lead. We were just trying to sustain our scoring because we couldn't really stop them in the paint. If we can't stop them, that means we got to just keep scoring on offense. And that's what we did. It was really a war the entire game. That's definitely playoffs for you. That's championship basketball. There's about 40 seconds left, and we're up four or five. Dylan hits clutch free throws to end the game. Our fans are going crazy. Really, everyone in the gym is going crazy, and my dad was hyped. Man, I was super excited just because that was a win that, that I really wanted. And, you know, nobody, not even people in our program thought we were going to end up winning the game. So it just felt really good to prove everybody wrong and get the win. After in the locker room, everybody was throwing water, jumping up and down. It was a crazy experience. Hey, ain't nobody got a bet on us. Except us! Oh! We're one game away from reaching the championship, and nobody ever thought we could get this far. It's, it's just a surreal moment. And we're live!
live here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, at the beautiful OTE Arena for the game we've waited all season and all playoffs for. The first seed, City Reapers, going up against the second seed, YNG Dreamers. About to go into the finals, play against the Dreamers, who have loaded a lot of talent. Second best team in the league, so it's going to be a good matchup. Going into the finals was crazy, you know, being the last pick and then making it to the finals on one of the best teams in the league. And the finals is really everything of the season, you know, everybody's going to be watching. There's going to be rappers, all types of people, also have eyes. So you have one or two good games, you can really blow up your whole career. Here we go. OTE Finals. Game one. Dreamers, they run a really good offense. B9 on the drive to get things started. Drops the foul. They were really hard to guard. Jalen Martin over to Alex Sarr. Point three. That's money right there. Man, no. You know, but I'm doing my thing too. Eli! Eli! Buckets! Now we're just battling, just going back and forth. Fast break over to Zarchek! Time in! They came to play, so it's not one sided right now. It's intense. It's back and forth, hitting threes. People are dunking. The energy is just crazy. You're in the box, Jay going out! Okay, wow, man. Are you oh, man. That Jay Parker, Jay Gordon matchup. Tyler. Oh my Tyler. goodness. Good strong move from Tyler Bay. Dreamers, work on the break. KTJ, hometown hero. Azar, another one. Right now, it's just a shootout. It is going to be so challenging to wow. beat these City Reapers if the Twins are consistently hitting three. The Thompsons, they're doing their thing, you know, just taking over the game. They act like they're three-point specialists. TJ! Oh, oh, what an answer! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, we were thinking we were going to run away with it, but it's a battle right now in this game. <laughs> Asar Thompson got Ethan on him, takes it all the way! Alex Sar! Oh, one left. Oh. <laughs> Half ends, we're up by two. Lato's getting on to us just about playing defense and just sticking to the game plan. The simple things, the simple things we're not doing collectively. Play on defense. If you don't trust that you're not athletic on a pass to get out there and defend that shot, then you shouldn't be in the game or you shouldn't be an athlete. Right? Let's go. Reapers on three, one, two, three. Reapers. Coming out of the third quarter, our game plan was just to hit him in the mouth, do the same thing we always do, run up at four, knock down shots, and just play defense. Oh, this is... Wow, what a pump face. That's a good shot right there. Hey, TJ Clark is actually a big part of the reason they're still in this game right now. Uh, it was a big score for us that game. Eli, wide open. Pretty much out of here. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't even have to look at it. I had about nine or ten points just playing pretty solid. And scoring, contributing, should be in the main piece for our team. What a move! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, K-Now is hooping today, man! You know, the Dreamers, they're just not going to quit. Press the killer! Strong move, and one! 77-74, the Dreamers need to stop. <laughs> Definitely need a stop right here. Jay Gordon gonna make it up on the on the defensive end if he wants. Okay, downhill. Man, I let him get one. Bryson scores and we go up 79-74. Hold on, Jay Gore got something to say. Kicks it to the corner. Oh, 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 man, goodness! Way to answer, Jay Gore. It's coming down to the wire. One minute left. Man with it. Oh, he lost the ball. It's our ball. Start when you catch, very aggressive. Very aggressive going to the basket. You don't like what you got. Take a step back, Tyler, set him a screen, and you go in there. All right? Hey, we need a score and a stop. We need a score and a stop. We need a score and a stop. Hey, let's go. Win on three. One, two, three, win. Hardwood classic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I thought he was just for the shoot there. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Help. A star, a three. Oh, man. All right. He went back anyway. Nine on the clock. Eight, seven, possession. six, five, four, four step back. three, four, two. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Rebound. Oh, that was a tough rebound. A man might have just saved the game. We get the ball. Uh, they foul him in. That's a game-changing rebound. It bro. is. It is. And 
Oh, oh. Hold on now. Wait a minute. Don't slip. Hold on now. Oh. Need to Do at least sleep. make this second one. He, 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 oh. he missed both. He misses both free throws. A few seconds left. Game one of the OTE finals. Oh. Down it is. Pulls okay. in. Okay. No. Go for the. Oh. Dreamers had the ball and it bounced off TJ's leg. So we're throwing the ball in. They try to give the ball to me, get the ball, get fouled. Have two free throws left. I think they did, man. Oh, man. 1.8 on the clock. TJ Clark had to dive to tackle him. I don't know. Hey, the game could be over here, close. Eli hits the first one. Opportunity to ice it for the game. Knock down both, and that's game. Don't foul. And just like wow. that, the City Reapers take game one. Excellent. Of the to 77. Yeah, we know that the juniors at any point can get a win and take over the series, but it feels good to get this first win. Played really well, so going into game two, just trying to maintain that. Reapers finals game two, it was a really intense game. Dreamers been playing well all around. I think Bryson Moore has 15 points. Alex Sar 11, J. Lou 11, Kane in 11. And I trust you guys. Where's my fifth man? We can't. We're gonna play with f***ing four. Finals game two, they came out for a revenge and we were basically just punching each other in the mouth. Well, 43 to 40 is the score heading into halftime. Is this the game y'all expecting? This is a great game, I ain't gonna lie. But we drive it, we don't finish. We drive it, we fumble it. Hot potato, Russian, Russian, Russian. The Dreamers, they came out with a vengeance in game two. It's been a close game. We talk about these lead changes, man. It's like you never know who's gonna go on a run. We put in work in game one, basically dominated, so the Dreamers didn't like that. Hey, somebody got to tell me when I draw up a play, why the f we can't run it? They were up basically the whole game. We were trying to battle back, but it was just hard. We got 11 turnovers. 11 turnovers. We're, we're, we're out of sync and out of sorts. You're only down a bucket, so let's come on, clean up this shit and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kicks it over. King nine. Thinks about it. Gets in the lane. Four seconds on the clock. You could not foul a jump shooter. That's part of our defense is reaching and fouling. The other night, we don't do nothing real well. First half, couldn't really get any shots. Then he hit one three. TJ Clark on the drive. Eli, give him a step. Coach Leto, a little upset, man. He's not used to being down. Nope. Here we go, Eli. You know, Eli kind of took a back seat this game. Some of the shots weren't getting to him, but you know, he's he's pretty cool with it, knowing that he has two top five picks on his team. Now, you don't want to let the Reapers get back into it. I mean, it's inevitable. I feel like the scriptwriters wrote it that way, but you need to keep him away, man. Yeah, City Reapers made a Nice run, I believe it's a 12 to two run to close the lead to just two points, man. You guys called four fouls on us on rebounds. Oh, acrobatic finish. Cedar Reapers took the lead. They can't win if they can't score. No dumb fouls, no quarter yeah, threes. No, no quarter threes, all right? So the Dreamers were up basically the whole game. Fourth quarter, we get a lead. And the Dreamers like, nah, we're not gonna let this happen. We're up three. Bryce comes down the court. Here we go. Oh, yes! 
Knocks down a crazy deep three. Everybody's yelling, going crazy. They thought it was going to go into overtime. It's been a while since we've seen an overtime, but we've been blessed with one here today. My man, you come right here, you catch. believe what we just witnessed that was insane celebration was crazy I'm surprised nobody got hurt job is not done I, I was pissed but I was I, I was not in any place where we've been in this before it was a close game, the Dreamers could have pulled it out. But now we're up 2-0, and that's a really good position to be in. Corrected ourselves in the middle of the game. Great, great heart, great spirit. Gave ourselves a chance and turned the game around. Yeah, that was the crazy I've seen OT the whole year. You know, game three could get just as wild. Hey, man, man, three. One, two, three, man. Combine's more like pretty and like talented. And again, you're playing to win. They're playing not to lose. So we're at the finals in Rock Hill. Shut up, We beat Quality Education in the first round. Then we beat Winston Christian in the second round. And now we're playing Combine for the national championship. Come on, three, one, two, three, come on! This is what those thousands of hours were for. It was for this hour. In our day, they used to tell you, BYOB, you know what that meant? Bring your own beer. Not tonight. Bring your own This game really means a lot for everybody. You lose the last game, it kind of marks your whole season. Gravy on three, one on six. One, two, three. Gravy. Four, five, six. Gravy. Gravy. Yeah, everyone in the state expects us to lose. They're the number 17 team in the country. We're not even on any rankings, top 100, not top 150, so we're definitely the underdog. The Raven Prep Combine rivalry has been crazy the past couple years. Because we've always been the best two teams in the state. It does elevate my game a little bit. It's really just a super intense game. Whoever wins is known as the best team in the state. Steve, you're here. Isaac, you're here. And they're way more athletic. They're way bigger. Their guards are bigger than our five men. It's going to be a tough matchup. You know, it was fun just being with them for the championship, watching them try to pull it off. You lock in on defense for a five. In this game, you know, I really feel like I have to carry our team to a win. But we got to get way more stops on the defensive end because they're cooking us. Hey, Zero, yo, sorry.
This is really tough, but it's still a close game. They're trying to slow the game down, and then at eight seconds, they're just punching it in your mouth. Like, it's just bad. And you know, everybody says basketball is a game of runs, and that's really what it was. They went on a really big run to end the first half, and that's what put them up six. You have to take a charge. You have to roll up. You have to. They played really well, and they're up six. We're good. You gotta believe, though. And no matter what happens, I don't give a what the score is. You better go down swing. Hey, risk it down! Coming out into the second, we just flipped a switch. Six turnovers. It was just like a vibe switch. Everybody was hitting threes. Getting way more stops. Let's go! Let's go, boy! And now we're setting the rules. We were driving, get to the rim, finishing. Everybody just had like this different level of confidence. To be honest, in the first half, a couple of our guys didn't play like they wanted to, and I think they kind of realized, like, oh dang, like this is my last game ever. What? So they just came out with like a whole different mindset. It really looked like we were playing a perfect game, like nobody was missing. That's what really changed the game. Yeah, they really didn't know what hit them. It was kind of just like a burden was lifted off of us. Nobody in the gym expected that to happen. For us to go, go down six in the first half and then come out in the second half like that, it was really just a miracle. Come on, what happened? <laughs> Early on, we would, we would move at the speed of the trust level we have. I can't thank you enough for trust, trust the parade, and trusting us, trusting the whole process. Because I know I'm hard, I know I know it's hard, but I told you, I never told you it's gonna be easy, but I told you it'd be worth it. It was a crazy moment. It's how much hard work we put in. That was the reward for six months of just grinding. Y'all gonna be great men, great dads. This is just the beginning. God, I wish I'd have bet. You know how much money we'd have won tonight? <laughs> hey, cause listen, again, ain't nobody betting on us tonight. 
Except who? Uh, oh, he's bet on yourself. Yeah. One more time. For the last time. Everybody. Raven on three. Raven on six. One, two, three. Raven on five, six. Raven on five, Finals game three. If we win this one, we go home. Our victory is won inside this locker room by being who we are. One more game and then the season's over. Everything's on the line this game. We ain't got to do anything spectacular. We don't have to imagine anything. Be who you are, have fun with the game, and your victory is yours. Okay, here we go. a big, big, big game three out of a five game series. The Reapers took the first two games. So if the Dreamers win tonight, we continue on. If we win, we go home. If we lose, then we got to come back and play the Dreamers again. Let's light it up. Let's rock. Dreamers are out for revenge after losing those first two games. We're tired. It's been a long season. We just got to put them away. Go as strong as you can. Finish high. Game three of the OTE Finals, here we go! I need you on your feet! K-9! Trey Paul corner pocket, K-9! Alex Sar, alley-oop to Ethan, misses, tip goes. Junior start out really hot. This is their last chance to beat us, so. K-9, five, gotta go. Fires, he's taking that in his bag with him when he goes to Stanford. K-9, cross court to J. Lou. Woo! Knocking down shots. Ethan for three, buckets. Coming off ball screen. K-9 finds a spot he likes. I want to get right here, right now. Making easy shots and we are having a hard time guarding them. Dreamers have so many options offensively. Kicking our natural ass. Kicking our natural ass. Get your heads out your ass. All right? You slow up and down. With no rim protection. We're not finishing at the basket. They're just playing really well together. Jay Gore drives, no tip goes. Do you think the Dreamers have any shot at coming back? Yeah, I feel like it's possible. I feel like they could have won both of the other games. Curl, if not, you play handoff and roll. Jay Mart, you're reading after that second screen. Ethan Curls, you hit the cut. All right, all right, we good? You guys got two goddamn choices. Two choices. Pick it up or cancel the f***ing day. Eli stroke that thing, Kazo! The star! You know, the Reapers, even if we start off slow, we always pull right back into it. Oh, Amen Thompson! The Reapers just won't go away. No matter how much you try and push them out the picture, they just fight their way back in it. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You know, Coach Ed is saying what he always says. We're playing in first gear. It ain't about going in and get out, it's about playing your ass off. Come on. Run the floor. Get up and down. Alex Sar pushing the tempo. 3v2, Eli. Three buckets! City Reapers on a 10 to 2 run. I'm telling you, just can't push this team away. You know, I had to get going. The first two games were a little quiet for me. Yo, the pop's gonna be wide open. I had to step up this game. But the Dreamers are really balling out. Like you're a great defender, but they're going at you because they, they're just stronger than you, know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I got scored on one time by Jamon. How's yeah, it? that's what I'm saying. Twice, so what's the second time? 
We weren't really playing good defense and just giving them wide open lanes to score. K9 finds a spot he likes. Cannon Carlisle and Bryson Warren were a tough duo to guard. The best part of the game of runs. Everybody gonna make a run, we make ours. Drive, 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 drive. Lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up. They have out intensity us by a thousand percent. You tell me where you could play or where in life that you just don't do nothing and you get rewarded. And we're down two. You know why? Because we are a lot better than them. You got to play like there's no tomorrow. Third quarter, team mentality is really just finish these guys off. Fast break, Eli on the drive, gets swung on. Definitely held the back of his head for a little minute. They're doing whatever they can to force this into game four. Good drive, good move, no call. The Reavers have always been known for comebacks. Eli pump fake drive. Mm. Oh, now the Reapers are down one. Right now their backs are up against the wall, and we have to shut them down now. Jay Court, right side. Jay Court oh, wide. Bryson Warren, three. Oh, and one. 50 to 46. Like driving at his ass. Azar, another three. Oh my God! Wow, bro, this is ridiculous. That threes, first Asar, then a man, then Asar. You're afraid of him. We get our ass kick intensity wise, and we might as well just not show up. Fifty-two points in two quarters. You got 10 minutes to change it. 10 minutes. That's fourth quarter. That is not the guy you leave open. Tip though. They've been up the whole game, so something has to happen. I meant Thompson. One, and one. Oh, it's the same call. Coach Alato is sprinting onto the court. He wants to win with every fiber of his being. I bet. Go ahead, his ass. He can't go. 14 you. on the clock. A star looking to dance. Three. Nope. Kicks it back to Bryson Tiller, spin move. Oh, that's goaltending! If they give up this lead going into the fourth quarter for the third time in a row, they deserve to cry. I'm really, really excited to see how the Reapers respond to this momentum. Seventy-one, seventy-seven. Dreamers gotta stay hot. It'd be bad to lose the game because we kind of lose our momentum. You know, we gotta wait another four or five days to play again, so we know it's time for a comeback. Gets broke! TJ fights for it! Gives it right to Bryson to a fast break! Here we go! Elio! Oh my goodness! One point game! Oh my goodness, you can't make this up, people. The Terminator just went down the court like he was Chris Paul. But we gotta keep attacking, keep attacking, because that shit's a critical. K9 fires one, two, three of them. And everybody was just hitting crazy shots. Cross court, Nate, he hits it. Yeah, watching this comeback happen was crazy. Looks like Dreamers get it. K9. Oh man. Rebound oh. goes to a man! Asar! Oh, what a block! Seven on the clock! Man! Off the back bar! One second! Shot clock violation! It doesn't count! It does not count! Thompson! Over to Bryson Tiller! Oh, with the finish! Up one! Oh. They're doing anything they can to win this game. It's a little nerve wracking, but no matter what, we always come out with a win. Inbound. All right. All right, here we go. 10 seconds on the clock. All right, has court. it. Show me some. Cross court to a star. Three. Oh, my God. Daniel oh, King right there. Two seconds. K-9. Oh, my God. Gary Thompson wins it for the Reapers. Are you me? They take it. Three. Oh. What? 
Vogel. That man is NBA bound. I can't even believe what I'm seeing, hey, man. It is over. It is over. And then everybody's going crazy, running on the court. <laughs> Brought out the brooms because we slept them. We started sweeping the brooms everywhere. Put the hats on, shirts. It was crazy. <laughs> Going to the locker room. It was just kind of like a party. Foam stuff. You got confetti everywhere. It was wild. It's a few days after me and Eli both won our championship. We're back together, just bonding, spending some time. So we decided we're gonna go do some cryotherapy. <laughs> cryotherapy, I've done this before. He's never done it before, so. I don't think it's gonna be that cold. I got brain freeze now, though. <laughs> OT season's super long, super hard, we lift the whole time, even on game days, it's really hard on your body. Cryer is really good with recovery, just icing your body, making your muscles feel good, and keeping you relaxed. We have pronouns, um, him. How cold is it? Extremely cold. <laughs> oh, that helps. I had to put on these boots, these gloves, all this stuff, and get into the ice chamber. Where's he at? Eli, come here, let me see. Cause I know yours ain't better than mine. Mine's worse. I'm winning. Yeah. yeah. All right, so remember you're gonna be in here for three minutes. Just remember to relax and breathe while you're in here. You can stretch, you can dance, you can do whatever you need to do to kind of get your body right. Fit is crazy. <laughs> Personally, it's been an ankle injury, just our ankles, and then probably my knees. My knees hurt pretty bad. I think the cryo could hopefully help my knees a good bit. So this is his temperature. So he's about negative 193, and it helps reduce inflammation, speed up recovery. How you feeling? Feel good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shaking so hard? There was a mic that you could talk to them while they're in there. How you feeling? That's what the music had gone. How you feeling, man? So me and Isaac were messing with each other. What music, bro? What music? <laughs> Going throughout the year, last year being with Eli, and then this year kind of not being with him as much, and then now we're finally back together, you know, spending more time together, so it, it feels good being back with him. That is freezing, because it's like, what, negative 200 degrees? Yeah, you were like this. Yeah, my physically, I can't stop myself from shaking, but it wasn't that, that bad. That means it's cold. It's been a long season. Me and I just got some well-needed rest. We both came out as champions, and you know, it's good for both of us to be done with our seasons and just relax. So you do direct heat. Two minutes, two minutes where you stakes, and then indirect. Now I'm back at home, hanging out with the family. All right, all right, all right now, I got a hot hand. We had a little cookout to end the year. I, I help. I mean, I cook a good, not a good, I used to cook a lot. Can you trust his cooking? That wasn't even me. That scared me. 
Go ahead. Let's see how that works. Go ahead. If you're not helping, get out of the kitchen. I think I was really proud of how he represented our family. When he got drafted last, it was like, dang. Probably some doubt there. That was he good enough? Was he an internet kid? Was he this? Was he that? And he said, I'll figure it out. That's what I was probably the most impressed with, that he just kept figuring it out. But I was just one of the greatest leaders I've ever coached. Eli's a pretty strong personality, because when he left, our top 50 and our top 100 left the same week. If you'd have told me we beat, you know, top 10 team in the country by 25 in the national championship with the team I had, that's one time I wouldn't have bet on myself. Now don't judge me before you try this. I know it looks bad, but. All right, so we got marinated sirloins. You've got red hots, you got beef hot dogs, you got hamburgers, you got pork chops. I accomplished way more than I thought I would, way more than anybody thought I would, without my dad coaching me, uh, without my brother, without everybody there. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad he had a good season at OTE, but we kind of forgot about him, if I'm being honest. It's totally true. Nah, he's going a lot this year. Everybody here finished our seasons really well, so that was proud of him for that. Me and Eli, we definitely accomplished the same things this year. I stepped into Eli's place as like the team leader from Ravian, playing 35 games, going into the prep nationals with our heads high, and end up winning the national championship. It was really just a, a moment that I will never forget. I think it's gonna be special, man. I think they're learning, they're realizing they got two more years together and like, I don't think they realized how much they like playing with each other. So I accomplished everything and more that I wanted to OT and then Isaac did the same in Moravian. Two kids that, not the tallest, not the most athletic, but we really just took what we had and made the most out of it. We work as hard as we can. I'm just super excited to see what's ahead of me in the future. But we're just gonna keep working hard, keep doing what we do, and you never know, we might end up playing on the same team next year. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.